Congratulations, you are buying a house. This is quite an exciting time for you. Did you know that you need to provide your seller with option money when you go under contract? Well, what is it? How much is it? And what is it for? If you've got those questions, I'm gonna go through all of them right now, so stick around. Hey everyone, this is Danae Hewitt, your go-to DFW Realtor with Brico Realty Services. On this channel, I talk to you about all the things real estate here in Texas. Let's get into today's topic, which is option money. What is it? When you first go under contract, you need to provide the sellers with option money, and that is your right to do some due diligence on the home now that you're under contract. It is also within your right during this option period time to cancel the contract for any reason at all. Here in Texas, when a home goes under contract, it's listed in MLS as active option contract. This tells other agents that there currently is an executed contract on this home and that the buyers are doing their due diligence within a certain amount of days. And those amount of days are totally negotiable. I've seen it be anywhere from three days up to 10 days. It's all up to the buyers and sellers to come to an amount of time that they both agree upon. How much does this option period cost? Again, totally negotiable. Let's say you would like five days to get into the home to do all of your inspections on it. Well, then you may want to offer $100 as your option money to give yourself the five days to do your due diligence. Maybe you want seven days. Then I would increase the price a little bit, maybe to $150. If you would like longer than that, let's say you'd like 10 days to do your due diligence on the home. I would suggest your option money be at least $200, if not a little bit more. Again, these prices are all negotiable. I'm just telling you typically what I see as an agent here in DFW. This option money needs to be given directly to the sellers or to the seller's listing agent. The Texas Real Estate Commission is currently changing the contracts to have the option money be delivered to the title company. They are the third party company that handles all of the finances involved in this transaction. And right now, that option money goes to the seller themselves. It would be so nice and so easy and so seamless if that option money was given directly to the title company as well. These changes aren't expected to take place until April of 2021. So if now you are buying a house, that money needs to go to the seller or to the listing agent. But stay tuned for any changes. During this option period, you as the buyer are responsible for having all of the inspections that you want done on the home. You want to have a general inspection. There are lots of inspection companies around here that will go into your house and it takes them, depending on the size of the house, at least three hours to go through it and they look at absolutely everything on the home. They look at the small things to an outlet not having a faceplate on it. And they also look at the big things like damages to a roof or foundation cracks, things like that. The general inspector knows a little bit about a lot of things in your house. They're the first set of eyes that you want on the property so you can know all of the things that may not be functioning right with the home that you plan to buy. I do have to warn you that this inspection report that you do get back, it is going to be many, 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 many pages long. I've seen some of them be up to 40 pages sometimes. It just depends on the house, but don't get worried. Again, they look at very, very minor things that they do have to tell you about. The main thing you want to focus on is the big things. What's the HVAC like? Are there termites? Any electrical problems? Any damage to the roof? Is the house shifting because Texas soil isn't that great? Those are the major things that can be very costly down the line. So pay attention to those things. 
let's say in that inspection report, you get it back and there's electrical issues with the home that are concerning to you. If you still have time in your option period, you can also choose to have an electrician come to the home and check out that issue that the general inspector initially found. This electrician does this for a living. They know all the ins and outs of the electricity in the home. They can give you a better idea of what is actually wrong here, and they can also tell you about how much it'll cost to fix it and maybe even get it up to code. Let's say the electricity was all that was a concern for you on the inspection report. Then at that point, you as the buyer can go to the seller and say, based on this inspection report and based on what this electrician has said, we would like you as the seller to fix this issue. And the seller can agree to fix it or they can choose not to fix it. That's what we call repair negotiations. And it's just another form of negotiations as you're involved in buying a house. With these repair negotiations, you need to make sure that the buyer and the seller are both in agreement before 5 p.m. on the last day of the option period. If something hasn't been decided by 5 p.m., then the buyers will officially move forward on the home. It doesn't terminate unless you sign something to terminate the contract. As the buyer, you wanna make sure that you give yourself enough time in that option period to have the general inspector out and maybe some additional inspectors to look at specific things. From there, you go to your agent and you say, let's go to them with, this, with these repairs let's try to get these fixed and you want to have that answer from the seller again before 5 p.m. on the last day of that option period. No one likes to be stressed out at 3 o'clock on the last day of the option period. So work with your agent to make sure that that doesn't happen. During the option period you have the right to terminate the contract for any reason at all. It doesn't have to be over the condition of the home or repairs that couldn't get negotiated. Let's say you found another house that hit the market and you like that one more. I hate to say this, but you can terminate the contract on this other house during your option period. It happens. But just know that if you do terminate the contract for any reason at all, that option money is not refundable to you. So that one to $200 will be given to the seller and they can definitely cash that check. Another question I get asked is, can this go towards my down payment and closing costs? And the answer is yes. Here in Texas, we can check a box on the contract that says, yes, it's going towards your down payment or no, it's not. And 100% of the time, I always check for my buyers that this option money is going towards their down payment so they don't need to bring that extra one to $200 to the closing table. After the option period and all of the repairs have been negotiated, then the buyer's lender is going to order the appraisal on the home. And in a few days, that appraiser is going to come out and assess the true price of the home. And we hope that it is the price that the buyers and sellers are under contract for. The appraisal is usually never ordered during the option period because if the buyer terminates the contract during the option and the appraisal has already been done, somebody needs to pay for that appraisal. And you as the buyer, I'm sure you don't want to pay for an appraisal on a house that you're no longer buying. So that's typically what happens after the option period is when that appraisal gets ordered and completed. If you've got any more questions on the entire home buying process, I go through that video right up here, so definitely check that out. I also have my home buyer's guide and I will link that in the description below. If you're planning to buy a home here in DFW, it would be my honor to help you. My contact information is also in the description below. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and we'll see you next Wednesday.